What's going on students? Today we're gonna learn how to apply some of the exponent properties that you learned to the shapes around to find the area. If there's a specific problem that you need, just hit the description box right below and you can jump to a specific problem. Let's go. We're gonna start off with a triangle right below and the formula for a triangle to find the area of a right triangle is one half base times height. All we have to do is a simple substitution and apply some of the power rules that we learned and we'll get the area of this right away. So let's first start by the substitution. The base of this triangle is 2x squared y. And let's just put that right below, 2x squared y. And we're gonna multiply it to the height. The height, given that dimension, is 3xy squared. Don't forget that half is still in the front if you want to organize it this way, where you put all the coefficients in the front first, go ahead and do that. And also, if variables don't have exponents, they have a 1, because you might forget. So organize it variable by variable. We got x2, x1, y1, and y squared. So now that's all set up, and the rest of it should be pretty easy. Product of powers is saying that if you have the same base, all you got to do is add the exponents. So same base, add these exponents. As far as the coefficients, that's just simple multiplication. One half times two times three is three. X squared times X, add the exponents, X to the third, and Y to the first times Y squared, Y to the third. Sometimes the problem will just give you a sentence and you have to draw the shape yourself. So here's a square for the visual learners out there. And you know that a square, all the sides are congruent. They only give you one dimension for a square because you know all the sides are going to be the same. And the formula for the area of a square is just side squared. I was given the length, which is one half y third z. So I'm gonna put that in the parentheses like this. And I'm gonna have to square that. Now you gotta apply what you learned about power of a power. If it has a fraction, I always put it in parentheses like this. Then I write y3, and if that z doesn't have an exponent, you put an exponent of a one. Power of a power is just saying to multiply each exponent in the inside by the outside exponent by two. Times this by two, and times this by two. Now I just got to simplify and I got the area of my square. One half squared is one fourth. Y will now have a power of six because three times two is six and Z squared. There is my area. Rectangle is similar to the square. Uh, formula for a rectangle is length times width. So let's substitute all the dimensions we have. The length of this is two X Y squared to the third. I'm gonna write that right below. And my width is four y squared z. I'm gonna focus first on the length and simplify that before I try to multiply those two. Anytime they don't have exponents like that too, slide in a one. That x also has an exponent of a one. And you're just going to take that three and multiply each exponent in the inside by three. You can set it up like this. Two will have the power of three x will be to the third power and y will be to the sixth power. And simplify that further because you know two to the third is eight. The width, I'm just going to drop that monomial right below, just like this. And from here, we go back to product of powers. Coefficients, and you can start doing this in your head if you don't wanna organize and rewrite it. Eight times four is 32. And then just go alphabetically. There's nothing else with an x variable on there. So that's just x to the third. y6 matches with y2. Add the exponents is the rule. y8 and z. And finally, we get to the circle. The area for a circle is pi r squared, radius squared. And we're given the radius in the picture. 4x squared y. Substitute everything you have. Pi is just pi. The radius is given as 4x squared y, and then similar to the other problems, you got an exponent on the outside. You're gonna multiply that to each exponent in the inside. 
And if you don't want to rewrite it and you can start doing it in your head like this, 4 squared, x4, y squared, then do so so you can go through this faster. 4 squared is just 16, x to the 4th, y squared. That pi is still there and you can write it like this, 16 pi, x to the 4th, y squared. If this video helped, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.